Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Mr. Wiccan's Read. Awesome. And today we're going to do the day the crayons came home. Come. Came home. Come. Came. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's by Drew DeWalt and Oliver Jeffers. Uh, this is a sequel to The Day the Crayons Quit. So if you haven't seen that one, head over to my uh, Day the Crayons Quit and watch out for the dodgy accents where I run out of accents and something crazy creeps in on pink crayon. But anyway, here we go. Are we ready? Yeah. I'm joined yeah. by child number three. Hello. And child number four. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's get stuck in. Ooh, the day the crayons came home. Oh, a basket. Here we go. Ooh. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily colouring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in Hello. the mail. <gasps> Hello. Hello from the rug. How strange. Hello. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hello. No. Hello. Let's read what it says. Hello. Oh, where, where's Maroon? Oh, Maroon. Pirate. Okay. Pirate. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only coloured with me once to draw a scab. But whatever. <laughs> anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm fully, finally better, so come and get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Ooh. She's wet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, next. <laughs> Green. Let's see. Oh, let's see this one. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the colour pea green. So I'm changing up my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as pea green. <laughs> Esteban the Magnificent. <laughs> Ooh. Where's he from? Neon Red. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> That's him. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great holiday we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come back and get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, neon red crayon. Oh. Right, he's walking. Let's see how far he gets. <gasps> uh oh, remember these two? Yeah, they noticed. Oh no. I can't remember what accents they had. Anyway, one's got a high voice, one's got a low voice. Are you ready? <laughs> Duncan! He says, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the colour of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be the colour of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside. <laughs> and the sun melted us together. You know the real colour color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us... Uh, oh, bring us home. You're not so... You're not so sunny, friends. Yellow and orange. Duncan. Duncan's room. Inside. That house there. <laughs> What's happened to them? They melted together. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what's happened here? He got pooped up by the rug and he got 
got licked by a dog. <laughs> Disgusting. Ew. Hey, Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognise me after all the horrors I've been through. I think That's I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know, but I can't tell you anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. It's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. <laughs> Can you please bring me back your indigestible friend, Tan, or possibly burnt sienna, <laughs> crayon? <laughs> no. Disgusting. Disgusting. Dear Duncan, uh, <laughs> could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. <laughs> you can't get out. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> hey, Duncan. Remember that last Halloween? We told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs. Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? <laughs> but it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come and get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark, crayon. Should we see if it glows in the dark? Yeah. Go on then, quick. Quick, and that one. Let's see. <gasps> <laughs> It's not glowing in the dark. No, no. Ah, maybe we need to leave it in the sun for a while. I saw that okay. hair. You did, yeah. Okay. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada and <laughs> France, I think. Just coming across a Newcastle by camel now. Newcastle has giant pyramids, right? <laughs> See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. <laughs> She's not going to the North Pole. Oh, man. <clears throat> Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make a me blunt if you coloured each individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that also? No. Now I can't colour anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. I had to write this for him. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban, the Magnificent. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pockets and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. <laughs> Can you please come and get me? Mm -hmm. Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's been washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy. Turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Whoops. <gasps> Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon, I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head and put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall and has tried, tried to call a rubbish with me. The worst part is, he's a terrible I can't tell what his drawings are. 
Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? <laughs> Picasso said every child is an artist. But I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, big, chunky, toddler crayon. <laughs> I think he's a toddler. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. <laughs> Amazon rainforest. <gasps> Hello, Duncan. It's me, brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great colouring jobs. Chocolate. Puppies and ponies, lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you use me to colour, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that last brown scribble? <laughs> I'll come back, but please, let's stick to chocolate, OK? You're a very embarrassed friend, brown crayon. Bear goes in the woods. <laughs> Ugh. Can you say Ugh? Yeah. This. <gasps> Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years, so he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fitted in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. What do you think he's going to do? Um, make a big house for them. Whoa, the crayon fort. He built a place where each crayon could always feel at home. Shall we see what they say? <laughs> There are no dogs down there, are there? No, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Yeah. Let's have a party. <laughs> this one is for my blue period. But it's not really blue, it's more lilac. Oh, that's pink. Yeah. Eh, but it's not really blue, it's more lilac. <laughs> I think that door is for us. <laughs> ah. There you are, you could do with a haircut. I hope there's no metal detector. No, I think everyone is welcome. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks good, lads. <laughs> Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. Oh, I'm Ted. <laughs> Make. We door. All crayons welcome. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. <laughs> Crazy. And thank you for listening to another episode of... Mr. Wiggins Read. Brilliant. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.